trade two to four million shares a day. Uh, we have a market cap of a third of a billion dollars. That's $330 million today as we speak. Why do we fit at a mining conference? Well, first of all, a few months ago, Eric Sprott, one of the most respected gold bugs in the whole world, took a strategic investment in Dinosaur, invested $14 million for over 10% of the company. So we figured if the best gold investor in the world, or one of the best gold bugs in the world is interested, maybe others are in this conference. But more importantly, Dinosaur creates a product that is used in the mining industry. We reduce fuel consumption for the mining industry by up to 10%. We also reviews, re reduce carbon emissions. So what do we do? We produce hydrogen and oxygen on demand with a reactor with a, with, by using electrolysis. We take distilled water, power electricity through it, and through a hose, deliver hydrogen and oxygen, minute amounts of hydrogen, minute amounts of oxygen on demand. We don't store the hydrogen. We produce it as is required. And we feed it into the air intake of a diesel engine. It works on all sizes of diesel engines. And it's been well known that introducing trace amounts of hydrogen in diesel engines re reduces the fuel consumption. And really, the best explanation I have for that is the hydrogen acts a little bit like a spark plug, like a catalyst. We're not using hydrogen as a fuel, we're using hydrogen as a catalyst. And as a result, we can make diesel engines more efficient. The hydrogen flame is 10 times faster and 10 times hotter. So as a result of that, we can make a diesel engine much better. And part of the added benefit is it also reduces carbon emissions, which everybody's talking about now, and it reduces NOx, N-O-X. The war against NOx is developing all over the world. So we're allowing mining companies to become better corporate citizens, but also to save on fuel. And why is that important? Because mining companies in operation, both underground and open pit, don't really control the price at which they sell their their net product, especially if it's a commodity product like gold, copper, or whatever. They're price takers. But they, and they don't control their capital cost, which is a sunk cost. So what's left is controlling diesel fuel cost. In some mining companies, in some operation, diesel fuel is a third of the operating cost of a company. So if we can come out and save 10% fuel cost, we've got a home run with mining companies. And we are selling to mining companies right now. So what does our technology do? It reduces carbon emissions and it reduces fuel consumption. We, we're a small Toronto company, but we have many verticals globally. So our technology applies to trucking, it applies to machinery, mining, it applies to shipping, diesel generators, everywhere there's a diesel generator. Our product line, we have three groups of product lines. The three shown on the, on the screen right now are our HG1 model for um, class eight trucks, the 18 wheelers that we see on the highway. On the far right, you'll see a yellow model that is used for the mining industry that at attaches to the large cat trucks that we see in open pit mines. By the way, these trucks in, I understand that these trucks in open pit mines consume one million dollars each in diesel fuel every year. So if we can save 10 percent, we've got a home run with them. Um, we've developed a smaller model, the HG2, which you see there. That blue box is about three times the size of a Kleenex box. So it, it's, it's adapted for refrigerated trailers, um, which run 24-7 on diesel. So our, our total market, there's one billion trucks in the world, there's 20 million trucks, uh, 20 million reefers burning fuel in the world in just in North America, 20 million in South America, and 20 million in Europe. And we don't have stats for other places. But those are huge markets to be addressing. 
The value proposition to investors is a one-year payback. Essentially, our unit for a truck costs $9,000 installed. That's 9,000 Canadian. And a truck will burn about $100,000 of fuel per year. So within one year, a truck can pay back for its, its investment in fuel savings. Does it work? Well, we spent $50 million and 15 years developing this technology. Uh, in the end, that we were at UOIT in Oshawa. We, two, three years ago, demonstrated third-party testing that we could save up to 19.2% fuel savings. Uh, the pit group in Montreal, we ran a live test with a number of different trucks on a circular 100-kilometer track. We were showing fuel savings there too. Most importantly, last year, the people um, in Germany, we got homologation. We were tested by TÜV North and TÜV South, the people basically who regulate the emission standards and do all the testing for, and for uh, European cars. And that's very significant because since the Volkswagen scandal, it, th these people have become extremely conservative. Um, they had never seen any technology like ours and they, they tested it the first time they got 15% fuel savings. They, they couldn't believe it. They tested it again. They tested it again. And after four times, they went, it works. There are very high barriers to entry in what we do. As I said before, it took 15 years and $50 million to develop. But it also takes the ability to, to be licensed, to be permitted, to be able to use this technology. Uh, we are global. We sell to dealers. Our dealers are strategic people all over the world. And we're continually adding more dealers as we speak. Um, some of our dealers are also investors in our company. They start to learn about our product, they teach it, they install it on trucks, and then eventually they become shareholders as well. Uh, management owns 55% along with high net worth individuals of this company, the rest is float. And um, we, one of the reasons we trade a lot, I believe, is what Frank Holmes was talking about a little while ago. The quants uh, have identified our stock as being a winning stock. By the way, our stock went from around 17 cents at the beginning of 2019 and is now trading at 99 cents, 98.99 today. Our first research report came out of Germany, has a price target of $2. And one of the things in that report, which is very interesting, is 10 years ago, their skirts on trucks started to be installed. And within nine years, there was 90% adoption. Skirts cost about $3,000 and save 1% fuel. Our products cost $9,000, three times as much, and can save 10 to 15%. We also have a software program, Telematics, that we beam up to the cloud from the truck where a fleet owner can actually see on their computer or on their cell phone exactly how much fuel they are saving in real time. And that is probably the most convincing thing, despite all the studies that have been done with our technology, a user can now see for themselves exactly the fuel savings they're getting. I thank you very much.